Conchita's Diary, Chapter 4 October The four of us went up to the Pines at 9.55. When we arrived at the Pines, Father Valentin was already there. He read it for himself and afterward he gave it to us so that we could read the message to everyone. The four of us read it together. The people couldn't hear us well, so a man read it also. After reading it, we went down to the village, and when we had reached the place called the Quadro, the Virgin appeared to us. She said to me, Father Ramon Maria Andrew has doubts now. This made me wonder very much. The Virgin told me where he had begun to doubt, what he had been thinking and everything. August. Two months before the message, they took me to Santander by means of a priest named Father Luis. The night before going to Santander, there were many people, and among them, there was a priest with a white habit. And it surprised me very much that he came with a habit of this color. I had never seen anything like it. On that day, my mother had told me to ask the Virgin if she should let me go to Santander. I told her that I would ask her. It was six o'clock in the evening when the four of us had already received two calls. At that time, a priest had brought us a box of caramels, his name was Father Alfonso Cobian. He had brought the candy for the four of us. And when we were eating them, the third call came. And we dropped the caramels on the road. How we would have liked to eat them. But we liked more, much more to see the Virgin. And besides, the third call is a thing that takes us, and we don't know how we went to the place called the Quadro. Quadro, a place enclosed by some timbers positioned there to protect the girls from the enthusiasm of curious onlookers during their ecstasies. The Quadro is in the Calleja. We did not have time to get to the place mentioned, and she appeared to us before we arrived. Since we wanted so much to know who was the priest who had come in the white habit, we asked the Virgin. And the Virgin said nothing, she only smiled. But we insisted again, and after a long time she said. He is a Dominican. Then I said. A Dominican? And she said. Yes. That same day, I asked the Virgin if she would let me go to Santander. And she didn't tell me no. That day, the apparition lasted an hour, but it seemed like a minute to us. She told us herself that she had been there an hour. They wanted to take me to Santander because they said that I was the one who was influencing the other girls. Then they brought me to do a test. The first day I was there, I had an apparition near a church named Our Lady of Consolation. And there were many people there, so many people were there that the armed police had to intervene. That day they made various tests on me. And when the apparition was finished, they took me to an office for a priest and a medical doctor to question me. The priest was named Father Francisco Odriozola and the doctor was Dr. Pinnell. They said to me, How do you do these things? Are you crazy? How do you deceive people in this way? And then he said me, Straighten up. Look at my nose. I am going to hypnotize you. When he said to me, look at my nose, I laughed. And he said to me, don't you laugh, this is not a laughing matter. And that day they didn't do anything more to me. The next day they took me to some doctors to see if I was ill. They took me to one whose name was Morales and several others. And they all told me that I was well and that these apparitions were a dream. And they said that I should stay there in Santander to amuse myself, so that I could forget everything that had happened to me, and not go back to have more apparitions. Then my mother, as she was so convinced that there was nothing wrong with me because of everything that the doctors told her, left me and went to Garabandal. Some nieces and a sister of Father Odriozola came every day to pick me up at the house in order to go to the beach and the fairs, which until then I had never seen. Since I went to the beach every day, the Virgin did not appear to me. At the end of eight days, a man intervened to take me to the village and my mother came to find me. This man was Mr. Emilio del Valle Egochiga. 
I will remember him all my life. On the day that they took me back, I went to Dr. Pinnell to tell him that I was going. He became very angry and said to me, well, many things, so that I would not go. I told him that I was not seeing the Virgin, but that the others were, it seemed to me. And that the message seemed to me to be true. Then he told me to sign a statement. I signed it. Afterwards, he told me that I should go talk to Bishop Doroteo, and I did it. They all acted very nice to me, after all of this. When I arrived at the village on returning from Santander, several priests and many people came to meet me, because Loli and Jacinta had said in their apparition that I was coming on the road, as I really was. The Virgin had told this to them while they were in the church. Mari Cruz was waiting for the Virgin on her balcony that night, together with a crowd of people. The following day, when coming down from the pastures, my mother and I met my aunt, Maximina Gonzalez, who was very excited and told us. Do you know that the Virgin's voice has been heard on a tape recorder? Then I asked her. What did she say? My godmother answered. Loli and Jacinta told her. Speak. Go, speak. Then we heard on the tape. No, I won't speak. The people, my godmother told us, began to cry and were very emotional because they had heard the Virgin's voice. In those days while I was in Santander, two Jesuit priests had been in the village. Father Ramon Maria Andrew and Father Luis Maria Andrew had come, like many others, without believing. Then one day Loli and Jacinta had an apparition at the Pines. This was during the day. These two priests were there and when they saw the girls in ecstasy, they believed. When a short time had passed with the two girls in ecstasy, Father Ramon Maria Andrew thought. If this is true, let one of the girls stop having the vision. Immediately, Loli's vision left her. After a few minutes, the Virgin appeared to her again. The priests admitted that this was a test. One day, the four of us, Loli, Jacinta, Mari Cruz, and I, had a vision. Many people were there and among them were Father Luis Maria Andrew and a seminarian, Andres Pardo, and Father Royal Marin, a Dominican. It was already nighttime when the Virgin appeared to us that day. At the end of the rosary, the four of us were in ecstasy and we began to walk toward the pines. When we arrived there, Father Luis Maria said, Miracle! Miracle! And he was looking upwards. We saw him ourselves. And in our ecstasies, we have never seen anyone except the Virgin. On that occasion we saw Father Luis. And the Virgin told us that he was seeing her and the miracle. The people said that we prayed a creed at the Pines, that was the first day the Virgin taught us to pray, and that afterwards we went down to the village in the same state. When we arrived at the church, the Virgin left our view. As the Virgin had not appeared to Mari Cruz for several days, she stayed in ecstasy with the Virgin. She went into the church. And before the altar of the Virgin of the Rosary and St. Michael the Archangel, and she began to pray the creed very slowly with the Virgin. Mari Cruz said that the Virgin said the prayer ahead of her to teach her how to pray slowly. After the creed, Mari Cruz prayed a salve and then she made the sign of the cross very slowly and very well. She talked with the Virgin and said, Oh how good that the infant Jesus comes! How long it has been since he has come! Why do you wait so long to come to me and come to the other girls more often? Various people who were near her heard this, and Father Luis Maria Andrew and a seminarian, and Father Royal Maureen were among them. The following day the four of us went to sweep the church. While we were sweeping, Jacinta's mother came, very upset, and said to us, Father Luis Maria Andrew has died. We didn't believe her since we had seen him the day before. We left the church half-swept and went to find out more. They said that when he was about to die, his last words were. Today is the happiest day of my life. What a wonderful mother we have in heaven. After that, he died. This happened on the road to Reynosa.
When he left San Sebastián de Garibandal, he went in a car with Carmen Fontanita and her husband Fido Fontanita and several others. Father Luis Maria Andrew's mother became a cloistered nun 48 hours after her son's death. Several days after the death of Father Luis Maria Andrew, the Virgin told us that we were going to speak with him. On August 15, the Feast of Our Lady, there were many tourists who had come to amuse themselves, and they were causing scandal. That was the day that the Virgin told us we would talk with Father Luis Maria Andrew. But since there was a scandal, he didn't come. At four in the morning on the next day, at the same time that Father Luis had died, the Virgin appeared to me in my kitchen and said to me, Father will not come today, but he will come tomorrow. On the next day between eight and nine at night, the Virgin appeared to us, smiling very much as usual, and she said to the four of us, Father Luis will come now and speak to you. After a while, he came and called us one after the other. But we didn't see him, we only heard his voice. It was exactly the same as when he spoke on earth when he would give us advice. He also told us something for his brother Father Ramon Maria Andrew. He taught us words in French and how to pray in Greek. He also taught us words in English and German. After a while, we didn't hear his voice anymore. Then the Virgin spoke to us and stayed with us for a moment before leaving. The Virgin told us that day. Tomorrow you will hear a voice, do not be afraid, but follow it. On the next day, and at the same time as on the previous day, the Most Holy Virgin appeared to the four of us. For several minutes she was smiling very much. But she didn't say anything to us. After a few minutes, darkness came upon us, and we heard a voice call us. Then Mari Cruz said, Tell us who you are, if you don't, we will go home. While we were hearing the voice, it was very dark. We didn't see the Virgin. But afterwards she came and she said to us, Don't be afraid. And she spoke to us for a while. That night was the first night she kissed us one by one. And then she left. Continue.